guys, it's San from Practically Posh Life and I am excited today to bring you my holiday hits and misses. So if you are new, welcome um, and thank you for watching. And I do a series every year and I think this is probably my second year, maybe third, of doing the hits and misses. Um, but what this video is designed to do is just show all of you kind of how do things go. If you're curious as to what people get their kids, I'm one who's also curious as to did they like it, did they not like it, was it a hit, was it a miss, would you repurchase it? And so here we are five days post Christmas one and I just wanted to fill you guys in on how it went. I hope all of you had a wonderful holiday and that your your kids and grandkids and, and the little ones in your life really enjoyed all the gifts that you bought them and that you had some time to spend with family. I know we did. We just got back from Great Wolf Lodge last night um, and I shipped my kids off to uh, after school care and preschool for the day just so that I could get some things done because then they'll be home with me the rest of the week. But today I am filming again hits and misses. So I'm going to start with the misses and then we will pick up and go with the hits. Um, and the misses are just again my opinion and I'll tell you the reasons why they were a miss for me and why I may or may not repurchase um, for, for my kids. Okay, so the first two things that were a bit of a miss and it's still early days. Again, it's only five days post Christmas. They may actually take an interest and play with them later, but right now there's just been zero interest in them and they are unfortunately the our generation boy dolls um so tyler and franco they are adorable they were sitting in the little cars on christmas day under the tree the girls loved the cars quickly promptly took these little boys out and cast them aside and have not touched or looked at them since now to be fair three of the five days we have been away. <laughs> um, but they just don't seem to be interested in these two. And I think it's because again, they are, when I get to the hits, you'll understand they have been all consumed with the hits. So these two have not really gotten a lot of love. Um, I think that my girls tend to gravitate towards a few things at a time. So over time they may pick up an interest in these two, but right now they have just not. Um, so I don't necessarily think they were a necessary purchase for Christmas. I could have done without getting these because they have been totally enamored with all the other things that they got and weren't really super interested in these two. But fear not, I um, love collecting dolls and I collect my own dolls and don't have any boy dolls. So if they're not really interested, this may end up in my collection. <laughs> um, so they won't go to waste either way. And I do have a feeling that over time, the girls will be interested in them. But for right now, they have been a miss. And if they disappear tomorrow, I don't think my girls would notice or care. <laughs> okay. So those were two. The other one I am not gonna hold up because it's pretty big um, and it's one of the things that I was most excited about but upon reflection, if I'm being perfectly honest, I see some flaws in it that I don't know that I would necessarily repurchase it again. And if you watch the What I Got My Kids For Christmas, one of the things that I got my six-year-old for her birthday as her big birthday gift was the Our Generation Awesome Academy. And it had that amazing effect on her birthday when we kind of, she pulled the, the gift bag off of it and unveiled it she was like oh my goodness she was just absolutely stunned and for about two days she played with it non-stop then as we started to realize the functionality of it she started to get frustrated because her and her sister struggled to play in that confined space properly with 18 inch dolls and try to role play within the box that is and I'll insert pictures so that you can see what I'm talking about. So what they found themselves doing a lot was pulling the accessories out of the actual school unit and playing on the floor because the actual school unit was just too cluttered, too crowded. They just could not maneuver properly without knocking everything over. The other piece that was a pet peeve for even me as an adult was the desk. The desk that the teacher is supposed to sit behind there is not a easy way to sit an 18 inch doll in that rolling chair behind the desk without everything falling over. And once you work very hard to get it in place, you better not touch it. And anyone who has, you know, four year old, six year old, part of the joy is moving the dolls around and moving them around and the teacher stands up and then sits down. And if it takes you 10 minutes just to get the teacher to sit behind the desk and all the items on the desk fall over, and then you basically tell them don't touch her, 
they get frustrated because they're like the teacher needs to get back up and I'm like well you just it's you're gonna knock everything over just to get the teacher out again um, so they got to the point where we just do not even use the teacher desk at all we don't sit the dolls behind the teacher desk or in that rolling chair because there is just no easy way to do it without knocking everything over including the desk um, so that was a bit disappointing that as cute as it is it's probably less functional than I thought it would be. Um, again, if you don't have two kids playing in it, it might work easier, but we have two kids that are playing in it and it was just, qu we quickly realized it was very difficult for them to maneuver and again, all the pieces just kept knocking over and it was not easy to get the kids, the dolls in and out of the desks, in and out of behind the desk. Um, so oftentimes we see all the pieces, but they are not inside the actual Awesome Academy. They are playing with it outside of the Awesome Academy. Um, so in hindsight, you'd be, be better served to get school desks <laughs> and backpacks and some accessories and let your kid play with it wherever they want. The Awesome Academy unit itself, while beautiful, and I love the details, I absolutely love it and so did my daughter, is not exactly as functional as we would like to play with on a regular basis, and it is massive. Um, so we are still kind of moving it around to figure out where to put it, where it's not in the way, and it's not taking up a ton of space. Um, so if you are space constrained and your kid loves to play school with their 18 inch dolls, buy the desks separately and just play with the desks and you know you can get school accessories and then they have open space to maneuver however they want. Within the actual academy, it's a little bit challenging. If you have that um, toy and you have found a way to successfully navigate it, please comment down below. I'm open to all suggestions and tips because it was quite an investment um, and it kind of breaks my heart that it's not as functional as we would like but I'm also willing to admit when it's not working and I'm willing to admit that this is not working quite as I envisioned it. Um, so in hindsight, I'm not sure that I would repurchase it. So those were the, the misses and one was an expensive miss, but again, I'm kind of glad I went through the process and I think I always would have said that would have been a great gift if I didn't buy it. So I kind of needed to go through this experience and watch them play with it to really uh, understand the drawbacks of it. Um, again, there's still a lot of pros to it and maybe your kids play differently, but for mine, it just, it didn't quite work out. Um, and we'll see, again, she's had it for about two weeks now. Um, and again, two days straight playing with it. Now all the accessories are being played with, but the actual unit is not being played with hardly at all. Um, so, and it may be all the Christmas toys and all that stuff. So we'll see if she goes back to it, but it, it frustrated them. So. On to the hits. Those were the only misses. Everything else they have enjoyed, they have played with. So I'm not going to go through all of the toys, but I am going to go through the ones that have risen to the top as the ones that they reach for the minute they wake up and want to play with every free moment that they have. Obviously, the tablets were a hit. That was a no-brainer. They don't um, necessarily love playing with tablets and electronics a lot but it was extremely helpful on the car ride to Great Wolf and it was helpful in the hotel room for some downtime um, and they were easily able to navigate it and we got the Kindle Fire 8 HD 8 um, and that has worked out very well for them. So that was a hit in terms of electronics but you really cannot go wrong with a tablet so I kind of expected that to be a hit. It was a bit of a no-brainer. Um, from a toy perspective, the ones that were the biggest hit, and I am so happy because it was the ones I was the most excited about, the Bitty Twins. So aside from the fact that these guys are just absolutely adorable, um, the girls love them. So this is Derek and this is Emma. <laughs> and um, my six-year-old has Derek and my four-year-old has Emma and they absolutely love the Biddy Twins. This was a great investment, and um, they carried them everywhere. They brought them with us to Great Wolf Lodge. Uh, we had to pry them out of their hands and explain that they could not go to the water park with them, but uh, the minute they got back to the room, where's Derek, where's Emma, and they were playing with them, and even today, they wanted to take them to school with them, and I said no, but um, these are a huge hit, and the clothes were a hit. I think what makes it so fun for them is they both got their little basket of clothes and I filmed a video where I included a lookbook and I may include some snippets of a lookbook for you but I bought a ton of different outfits for these two and they're the Biddy Twin outfits and they are just absolutely adorable. I mean these twins are cute um, and they look different from all their other dolls so they just love them. They love changing their clothes, putting their pajamas on for bedtime and then when they go out they get them dressed every morning so it was just, it's been a hit. They love them. 
um, and I'm so pleased with it because um, these were two that were near and dear to my heart and I was really hoping they would gravitate to it and they did. Um, so I wonder if their love of the Bitty Twins is why they really didn't pay attention to the Our Generation dolls as much. Um, that could really be it and then over time they'll go back to the Our Generation dolls but right now they are just in love with the Bitty Twins, especially my six-year-old who I was worried would be like outgrowing it a bit. She's the main one. Like Derek is going to school this morning. Derek goes to bed. Derek has whole storylines and uh, she's just obsessed. And she's like, um, do you think for Christmas next year, Derek can get a brother? <laughs> so she is just in love and I could not be happier. Um, the other item that was a huge hit for them and I'd highly recommend it if you're trying to get a basic coding toy for your child is this um, Kinderbot. So this Kinderbot is super easy to use, super easy to navigate, and my kids have had an absolute blast. Um, I'm gonna try to... So that's just, um, and it's very simple to use. Like I thought, oh my gosh, are we gonna have to sit with them and do it every time for them? Not at all. They put in their own codes, it prompts them, it has dance moves, it has obstacle courses. It's very basic. If you have like an eight, nine, 10 year old, it's probably gonna be too basic for them. But for my kids who did not have a lot of exposure to coding, this has been a lot of fun. Both four and six year old have played with it and have watched it do different things. Um, so the Kinderbot was a hit and um, I think they're, they're learning a ton about giving it different instructions and codes and going left and right and forward. Um, so that, that has been a hit. Um, and then the last thing that I will say has been a hit, um, but more for me, and, and don't judge, I'll explain. One of the last minute gifts that I picked up and decided to add was the OMG Winter Disco Dolls. And so I got each of them an OMG Winter Doll. One got 24K DJ and the other one got Dolly. So... Those were the two. My four-year-old got 24K DJ, which realizing now that that was impossible to find and it sold out everywhere, they were like, oh great, cool, an OMG doll, can you open it? I opened this doll and this is what she looked like. I literally was like, OMG, <laughs> she's gorgeous. So much so that I was literally like, she cannot have this. She will ruin it. She will start trying to mess with its hair. She will pull off all the clothes. And this thing will be naked in a corner looking like it has been robbed and mugged and, and just a mess in no time. And it is just way too beautiful for that. So I quickly distracted her. And um, 24K DJ has now been added to my collection. So she is behind glass. And um, I'm gonna have to replace her with a, um, you know, a, a lesser rare and OMG doll, and she's not gonna care. So she's gonna get another one. We did not open Dolly yet because I knew it would start a fight if I opened up the other one, and then hers was missing. So I will replace this with a different one, and then let them both play with it. But I, I mean, the details, the clo all of it—it it was just—it's stunning. And I am not an, <laughs> an LOL collector. I didn't really love the OMGs at first. I was like, ah, oh, they look a little risque. I'm not really interested. Um, but this one, literally the minute I got her out of the box, I was just like, oh my gosh. And even my husband, I was like, look at this. She, he was like, oh, she can't have that. Like, she's, she's beautiful. Um, so we agreed that this was gonna be a hit, but for mom and that she will get another one. But I mean, if you're someone who, if your kids love OMGs and will take care of them, I highly recommend this one. It is just absolutely beautiful. The detail, the accessories are all just stunning in my opinion. Um, so again, I found this to be a huge hit for me and she will get a different one. Um, but I have no doubt that they will love playing with them in their Barbie house and putting them in the Barbie cars and doing different things with the OMG dolls. So those were hit, but in a different kind of way. <laughs> um, and I'll insert a picture of, well, Miss 24K DJ in my doll case. 
Um, so those are the holiday hits and misses for this year. Again, everything else that is not mentioned that you saw in the What I Got My Kids for Christmas was also a hit. But just, again, I didn't want to go through every single thing. They love the cars. They actually put the Biddy twins in the cars and drive them around. Um, so the cars are not used exactly the way I thought, but they are loving using them for the Biddy twins to go to school and do different things. Um, they loved all of their stocking stuffers and have utilized most of them at this point. Uh, and then I can't quite remember any of the other things that they got, but they've loved everything else that they got. But again, the, the biggest hits have been Kinderbot. Oh, the, the llama. We got the little Boppy the Dancing Llama from my mom. Um, and they love pushing the button and watching him dance. So if you just want a fun toy, that was a, that was a hit as well. But the biggest one was the Bitty Twins. Um, so... Tell me about your holiday. What were the gifts like for your kids? Did they enjoy them? What were the hits? What were the misses? What were the ones that you would say you would not repurchase again? And the ones that you think everybody should buy for their kids? I'm really interested in hearing it because as you know, I shop all year round. So I am already looking at the clearance aisles for stuff I can stash away for next Christmas and birthdays throughout the year. Um, so I hope you had a wonderful holiday and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I look forward to the discussion in the comments. Thanks, bye.